Ladies and gentlemen, there is a great saying, the left will eat their own. And that is exactly what is happening. There is full panic mode in Biden's head, in his administration, because the Democrats have given the go-ahead. We got to get rid of him and have someone else run against Trump, because there's no way Biden can beat Trump. And we're about to get right into that. But before that, ladies and gentlemen, have you heard what Saudi Arabia announced? Starting at the end of this month, June, they will no longer take the dollar for their petrol, meaning our dollar is no longer backed by anything. They took it off the gold standard. Now, Saudi Arabia is refusing to renew the 50-year contract. They said they will now sell oil only using their currency, and they are joining the BRICS nations. BRICS has also said that before the end of this year, they will be publicly announcing a brand new super currency that the BRICS nations will use and only use that currency for their trades. That is 70% of the world, China, India, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi, Brazil, South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to get bad. So the only way to protect your hard-earned dollars is through physical, tangible, constitutional, in your hands, gold and silver. And you can get free silver on qualifying orders when you contact Midas Gold Group and tell them Vlad sent you. Go to MidasGoldGroup.com or call them at 480-360-3000. Again, free silver on qualifying orders when you tell them Vlad sent you. Let's get right into this first piece of the news. A prominent liberal liberal publication has predicted a landslide victory for, for President Donald Trump in the upcoming 2024 presidential election, replace, placing him in a clear lead over Democrat opponent Joe Biden. The forecast stands that notably because it comes from a source typically seen as favoring liberal viewpoints. The economist model integrates a variety of data sources, including state and national polls and economic indicators. It, it generates its predictions by running over 10,000 simulations on election, taking into account potential shifts in voter preference and economic trades. As of Monday, the model, the model gives President Trump a three quarters chance of securing the electoral college victory required to retain his position in the White House. So if that as when this was done a couple days ago, if the election were held that day, now again, this is a liberal left-leaning pollster saying that Trump 306 electoral votes, Joe Biden 232 electoral votes. Now, I'm going to show you another piece of information, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch this. This is CNN. CNN senior data reporter Harry Etten is with us. So where does the race stand among African-American voters right now? Yeah, I keep looking for this to change, to go back to a historical <laughs> norm. And it's simple. Look at that. At this time in 2020, among black voters, Biden was at 86 approval percent and Trump at seven. Today, just four years later, Biden is down to 70. Trump is up to 21. We put has not yet. So this is the margin or Biden and Trump among black voters compare where we were at this point in 2020 compare where we are now. You know, at this point, look at this. In 2020, Joe Biden was getting 86 percent of the African-American vote. Look at where it is now. It's 70 percent. That's a 16 point drop, John. And more than that, it's not just that Joe Biden is losing ground. It's that Donald Trump is gaining ground. You Did you hear that? It's not that Joe Biden is losing ground. It's that Trump is gaining ground. Here's what I'm going to tell you. When you have liberal medias coming out and saying things like that, like both of these pollsters did, you know, somebody gave them the go-ahead to bash Biden. Alex Jones reported on this and the whistleblower, undercover whistleblower that he has speaking to him is, the rumor is this, Joe Biden was given one last shot. They told him, 
on the debate stage, you either destroy Trump at the first debate next week, I believe it's on the 27th, or you're out, you're done, you're finished. We're going to have to replace you. This is why CNN is trying to still help Joe Biden. And we see, I mean, the debate favors Biden the way it's structured. I mean, no audience. Microphones go off as soon as your time is up, right? Um, CNN are the ones coordinating it, running it. I mean, I mean, come on. They might as well bring a robot up there. Or CNN should just debate on his behalf. Joe Biden doesn't even have to show up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a very critical time in our country and the world. We need to stay prayed up. We need to keep fighting for truth, speaking truth to power. Make sure all your friends, your neighbors, your relatives are all co-workers registered to vote and vote Trump and red up and down that ballot. Thank you so much for your time. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress this enough. What what is happening with Saudi Arabia and them refusing to renew the contract? We need to protect our money. Get get gold and silver. I'm look I'm looking into it more and more and getting more and more myself because it's as, as Trump said on his last rally when he spoke about this. He said if we don't stop this and get this and we we don't get this contract renewed and they release a brand new super currency to go against the dollar we are going to see inflation that the world has never seen before lord help us subscribe trump 2024 or sooner